Welcome back YouTube. Today I have a Mercedes ML350. Let's do a quick tour and uh, check it out. This is the 2012 Formatic ML350. It can tow up to 7,200 pounds, 302 horsepower from a 3.5 liter V6. It'll get about 17 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway. This is a luxury mid-size SUV, uh, five passengers. In 2012, this SUV retailed for well above 50,000. Uh, and now after 100,000 miles, you can find these under $15,000. Um, let's go over all the details and I can let you know my thoughts on whether it's a good used vehicle or not. If you're in the market for one of these SUVs, you might also be considering the Acura MDX, the BMW X5, and the Audi Q5. Um, you've also got the Lexus RX350 and other options as well. But today I'm going to tell you why this one is my favorite out of all the ones I mentioned. Um, it's actually pretty nice, you'll be surprised. First, let's begin with the styling. Um, it's the traditional Mercedes look, and it looks very modern and relevant. It's iconic. Everybody knows what this is when they see it on the road, and it's definitely very stylish. Previous models of the ML were a little bit um, dated, and I do love this refresh with the more elegant tail lights and chrome accents. Let's check out the side profile. You've got a little bit of chrome um, where you'd expect and some nice features, but it's not overdone. And let's go ahead and check out the front end. Up here in the front, you do have the redesigned, you know, the up updated headlights with the daytime running lights. The grille and the chrome lower panel, it's all new for this redesign. Definitely a fan of the styling. It is a nice big vehicle and compared to the X5 and the Q5 Audi um, this is my favorite yeah while I'm a big fan of the exterior not so much on the interior this is where I think it falls short um, the Audi uh, certainly wins in that category but let me show you what I'm talking about so you get the leather and premium design you know you have the wood accents throughout plenty of chrome on the steering wheel and on the center let's go ahead and hop in and so I love the steering wheel and the instrument cluster but when you take a look over here the screen vent and these button layouts is kind of outdated it does borrow from previous Mercedes models Pretty disappointing, no push to start. On a $50,000 vehicle, I still have to turn the key. My favorite part here is these buttons right here. The feedback in them is really solid. Um, pushing these in, you know, they're very firm. You get a lot of, you feel like it's quality. I'm not a fan of these numbers right here. I mean, they're really unnecessary. I mean, they're your radio presets, but also for your phone. Um, 2012, I feel like we don't use that anymore. Everybody uses Bluetooth. Um, but to control the screen, you have um, you have these this navigation knob, and uh, it's, it's not that great. Um, so I like the Audi design, how it has a lot of buttons, and. It has the four corners um, where you can control different menu items on there, but on here it's it doesn't do much, honestly. You can just like change radio stations and things like that, zoom in and out of the map. Uh, that's about it. I'll give credit where it's due. I do like physical buttons for climate control. I absolutely hate going into a touchscreen to control. The AC so I do like having this option so I don't take my eyes off the road everything is where you'd expect it to be 
The seating position and the driving position is very commanding. You can see the road pretty well. Visibility is pretty nice and clear. There aren't many blind spots. Even though it's a big vehicle, um, it's very easy to drive. You do sit up higher so you can see over you know, cars and traffic ahead of you. Also has a sunroof which is expected out of a luxury segment. I think they did a good job with the center um, armrest because it does open in two sections um, so you can access what you need easily. The headrests and the seat are controlled by these buttons right here and you also have memory for both driver and passenger. But what's cool is you can move the headrest up and down with that top button. So it's an electronic headrest. And you can bring it forward and back with, you know, this button right here. Let's check out the back seat. Plenty of room back here. It's definitely comfortable. You can fit an adult comfortably back here. The headrests um, adjust up. So they, this is the lower position and you can bring them all the way up if you have adults in the back. Cup holders and an armrest. And you do have the vents back here. Pretty important. What's pretty cool is over here, you have, um, might be hard to see, let me turn on the lights. It's still hard to see, but right here you have actually a full outlet right under the passenger seat. Pretty cool, you can plug in a mini fridge or a cooler or whatever you need back there, charge your laptop. Quick look at the trunk. It is a powered hatch. You have plenty of space and you have this cover. Keep your belongings hidden so no one sees it from the rear window as well as keep it out of the sun. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Plenty of cargo space there. Another look at the exterior with the lights on. LED tail lights look pretty sweet. You got integrated turn signals in the mirrors. Here's a look at the front end with the daytime running lights at the bottom. Honestly, the daytime running lights um, are one of the ways that keeps this vehicle relevant. So I'd like to talk a little bit about what to expect if you are considering a used ML350. So this one is a 2012. It is high miles. It has about 133 thousand miles that's a lot of miles for a luxury SUV but let me tell you how it's held up you can't really tell right now because it's not in direct sunlight but the paint is full of swirls and scratches uh, previous owner definitely had a unlimited car wash membership which is one of the worst things you could do to your paint um, most of it can be repaired and it can be looking nice again but this black paint is not where it should be and not up to expectations. Uh, it definitely needs some attention. All the lights, electronics on the vehicle are still working fine. Mechanically under the hood, there are no oil leaks and there are no issues whatsoever. Uh, the engine is still running strong. The transmission is smooth and it's very surprising for the mileage that it has. It's worth mentioning that it was well taken care of and it had regular maintenance history on the Carfax. The tires were replaced recently, so those are in good shape. The suspension parts are a little bit bouncy and they are definitely due for replacement. That might be a little bit costly, but depending on how long you expect to keep the vehicle, you might wanna change them out so you can get a better ride. So, how much should I pay for this? Well, you can expect to pay under $15,000 for one of these in good condition with a clean title. 2012 ML350, you should be able to get one for thirteen dollars to $15,000 with good maintenance history and in good condition. As long as you take good care of it and complete regular maintenance on it, you'll get plenty of life out of this vehicle. Every time I get in, it's a wonderful to drive and 
I'm not worried about anything breaking or anything like that. So if you're looking for a mid-size luxury SUV, do I recommend this? Definitely, uh, I would say go for it. Grab an ML350, it's got the reputation and the brand recognition, it's a Mercedes, but at the same time it's not much of a headache, it's not like the rest of the Mercedes models such as the S-Class that are just over engineered and have so many things that go wrong on them. Um, this is pretty simple, stylish but simple and pretty straightforward. Well I hope this video is very helpful, thanks for watching guys. Please consider subscribing.